Hey guys, how's it going? Zevenx here with a brand new video for you guys today. We're going to be covering tutorials and remix contests with all those details to come. Um, first off, let me play for you the song that we're going to be getting into today, which is Sometimes, a song that I released uh, on my own label, Rose Music. Um, and I'll get to more about that in a minute, but let me play it for you so you guys can get a feel for it. idea and uh, essentially what we're going for is that Don Diablo Future House style of song um, so I'm going to talk to you about how I got the chords and I'm going to talk to you about the remix contest um, because I'm going to be releasing the Ableton project file as I always do but I always am very curious of what you guys are creating so I want to hold a contest where you guys get this project file and with all these different parts you guys play with it deconstruct it study it and you guys come up with your own version or interpretation of the song uh, once you do, I want you guys to submit it and that way I can check it out and we will have a lot of cool contest details that I will explain a little bit later on in the video. But for now, let's get into the tutorial, which is covering how to get those big Don Diablo future house type chords. Now let's start off quickly uh, and get through this so that we can go to the remix contest. But essentially what I have here is a MIDI channel. We got the piano on there, Ableton's grand piano. And I'm just going to play for you this little ditty that I came up with. Nothing too complicated and actually sounds very boring, but we're going to talk about how to make it a little bit more interesting. So not very complicated and I'm sure any of you guys can come up with something very simple um, in that style. Now what makes it sound so big and complicated are these inversions. Now the chord feature is something really handy that's in MIDI effects and if you go over here to chord just double click it it'll throw it onto your MIDI channel and you will um, just apply it and the cool thing is that you can adjust these parameters and adjusting these parameters adds notes on top of what you're already inputting so it's making it so that you guys can only play one note but it'll play a bunch more others on top of it by adding uh, using this knob and you guys can do it um, adding 7 semitones, 10 semitones, 14, 15, 19, and negative 12. Now you guys can go ahead and adjust these however you like, but in order to get this type of sound, you guys can actually just copy these, uh, these uh, parameters here, up 7, up 10, up 14, up 15, up 19, and negative 12, so that we're an octave low, and we get a really rich sound. When you copy this, you can apply it to all sorts of notes and come up with your own progression. But this is what I came up with, and this is how it sounds now. Now, I wanted to apply that same thing without having to do the chord thing every time. So I ended up having this big MIDI clip where I have all the notes that are playing. But how do I go from single notes to all of these that are actually playing? so that I can throw it onto different devices. And so, it's very easy. All you have to do is go over here to your MIDI channel. So open up either a new MIDI channel or wherever you want it. Um, and what you're gonna do is, it's usually at all ins. Make sure that your ins and outs is on. It's this little button on the right. And where it says all ins, you're gonna make the routing come from um, where your information is coming from, which in this case is piano chords in this channel. So I'm gonna have that there, and then I'm gonna arm it right here to make sure it's armed. Make sure that your device is on, on the channel that you're getting your input from. And then you're gonna come over here where the clip starts and just hit record like you normally would. your information if you double click on it you can record all of that MIDI information that you're outputting to another MIDI track so you guys can get all the notes that you're working with and you guys can get very creative with this if you guys need to adjust a note or two or whatever it may be and I'm sure that you guys can take this an extra step and get creative with how to use it in Ableton but you guys go over here and you guys will have the clip now 
Uh, so you guys can throw that onto any device, any synth that you might have onto a completely different MIDI channel without having to do the chord feature every single time. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, I wanna talk about the remix contest, which is really gonna be fun. Um, first of all, let's talk about details. Deadline, December 1st. So I want you guys to submit your remixes by December 1st, and within a week, I will announce the winners, and we will have three winners, and all of those winners will get published on my own uh, music label, Rose Music, and you guys will get, it, uh, get your remixes on iTunes, Spotify, all that kind of good stuff. And I'm going to be throwing in a bunch of other stuff on there, too. So I'm going to help you guys with, you know, developing your social media. I will do SoundCloud reposts, shares, all that kind of stuff on my on my end and help you guys with all sorts of things. I'm going to throw in some sample packs for free um, and all sorts of stuff. So there's a lot to look forward to. And having your music published, I think, is really helpful. And I know that I would have liked that early on. So like I said, this is going to be a really fun remix contest because, as always, I'm going to give you guys the Ableton project files so you guys can work with all the different parts and the MIDI clips and all that kind of stuff and we will have uh, even the future bass synth that you guys hear over here so you guys can play with that and all sorts of things and I want you guys to get as creative as you want make a trap remix a Moombaton remix I don't care what it is um, but using the parts uh, we will have this remix contest um, so like I said, it ends December 1st, and that's the end of the submission time. And so I'm going to show you real quickly that you guys can submit your uh, your remixes, your remix submission uh, song of some times um, through this form. And this is usually my, um, my Rose Music demo submission form. So actually, you guys, if you want to submit your own demos, you guys can do so on this form. But this is also how I'm going to be receiving your... Um, sometimes remix contest uh, submissions and so uh, make sure that over here on Sonlink that it is a private SoundCloud link or wherever you host your music um, but make sure it's private and make sure that it's online don't uh, I mean don't send me um, mp3 files or something like that to my email just have it all on here Sound, SoundCloud private SoundCloud links would work the best um, and so yeah you guys will get your uh, music released on my label Rose Music It'll be on Spotify, iTunes, a million more things, but but those are the main ones that you guys know about. Like, I mean, it'll be on Amazon, Google Play, all that kind of good stuff. And like I said, I'll help you with all of your social media stuff. Um, like I said, I'll be doing SoundCloud reposts, shares, all that kind of good stuff, free sample packs. So keep um, updated with me on social media. So at my Facebook page, Zevin X Official, or any of my other stuff, which will be at the end of this video, so that you guys can get updated details um, if I add prizes and sorts of things like that. Um, to this remix contest, but I'm really excited to hear what you guys have um, So until next time I will see you guys in the next video and just leave me a comment down below if you guys have any questions Or what kind of video you guys want to see next so I will see you guys next time Hey guys, thanks for watching this video and I can't wait to see what kind of awesome remixes you guys come up with Like I said deadline is December 1st Pacific Standard Time at midnight Make sure you get them in in time so that you guys could possibly be released on my label uh, for all of those uh, three winners, you will be on Spotify, iTunes, etc. And lots of cool sample pack giveaways, SoundCloud shares and reposts. I will promote your guys' pages, help you with graphic design stuff. So I really look forward to see what you guys come up with. And until next time, let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the comments or other kind of videos that you guys would like to see. Alright, later.